And the Bristol Slapstick Festival begins tonight. It has become one of the highlights in the comedy calendar, bringing comedians from around the country. And Bristol's own Stephen Merchant has returned for a show. The man who worked, of course, with Ricky Gervais in the office and then on extras combined his homecoming uh, today to see a charity in the city which helps people recovering from addiction. In a moment, we'll be talking live to Stephen from the Colston Hall. First, though, this report... He lives in LA now, and I don't mean Long Ashton. Stephen Merchant is the Bristol comedian who's made a lot of money by making a lot of people laugh. He was using his celebrity cachet to bring publicity to this cafe for recovering addicts. I've been lucky that I've never been touched by those kind of addictions, and I've always been lucky that even from growing up in Bristol, I was always very focused about what I wanted to do in life, and, and you know, my comedy and all that was always something I knew from a young age. But I knew people around me, you know, even as I was growing up, who were sort of not, who didn't have that sense of purpose, and who were drifting into all kinds of addictions and other kind of issues. And I just, I've always just been very kind of um, impressed by anyone that can kind of pull themselves back out of that and find and sort of rejuvenate themselves, you know, and it's seems to me that that was one of the things I admired as soon as I heard about this. He met people like Chloe Diamond, who's been dry from alcohol for five years, helped by the Arc Cafe. I just had no faith in myself and I really didn't think that I had anything to contribute. And so I started off making the coffees and, and I learned that I can talk to people confidently and I can be part of a team and I can work hard, you know, and that I've got a good work ethic and that I can help train other volunteers. That was a huge one for me. People who work at the cafe have a low rate of relapse. Just one in eight will return to their addiction. But even though it's under one of Bristol's most famous landmarks, St Mary Redcliffe Church, it needs help getting more customers. Perhaps this famous visitor helped a little today. Robert Murphy, ITV News. Oh, we can talk to that famous visitor. We mentioned the Slapstick Festival earlier. It's underway in Bristol this week and Stephen is outside the Colston Hall where there's a big silent comedy gala tonight. Uh, looking forward to it, Stephen? I'm looking forward to it enormously, thanks for asking. Yes, I've actually come for uh, a number of years with my dad, paying for tickets tonight, free of charge uh, for the big man. But uh, it's, uh, it's tonight, it's Charlie Chaplin's The Kid and as the live band and the whole thing. And you know, if you've only ever seen kind of scratchy silent films, you know, on TV back in the day, then to see it on the big screen with the live band as it would have been uh, in the 1920s is quite an experience. And you mentioned your dad. It's great you're taking him tonight to the Colson Hall. Uh, wasn't it uh, your dad that first got you into slapstick? Very much so. I mean, he was always a big fan of, of uh, silent comedy and old black and white comedy, Laurel and Hardy, Buster Keaton, Chaplin. And, uh, and so I used to sit and watch it with him, you know, on a Saturday afternoon. Or, I mean, when I was growing up, I used to see uh, Harold Lloyd on BBC Two on, uh, on most, most nights of the week. And, you know, we used to watch it together and laugh together and kind of, and so he really kind of got me going and enjoying that. And that was a very important aspect of my sort of uh, love of comedy and discovering comedy, which I then obviously developed myself further with other names later. But um, I'm pleased now that I have a niece and nephew who are about two and three and uh, my dad's forcing them to watch the same stuff on DVD. So I'm <laughs> pleased that he's like single-handedly introducing a new generation to it. Now you're in the festival talking about your top comedy moments. Uh, I think your event is on Sunday in Bristol. What's top of your list then? Well, that's right. I'm talking with Robin Ince on Sunday uh, and I've chosen a, a bunch of my sort of favourite comedy clips. Some silent stuff from, uh, you know, uh, the likes of Buster Keaton and, um, and Laurel and Hardy, but also um, other, you know, stuff that sort of brings us all the way up to date. Uh, I don't really want to give away what I'm choosing because obviously otherwise there's no incentive to come along and see it. But, um, but as I say, it's all stuff that has sort of in been influential to me in different ways. And when Ricky Gervais and I were doing The Office, we would talk a lot. I mean, it, you may not know it when you see the show, but we used to talk a lot about, um, about say, Laurel and Hardy and the way that Oliver Hardy would often sort of look in the lens with frustration. I think there will be... Which Martin yeah, Freeman, yeah. as Tim, does an awful lot in The Office. <laughs> there, there will be, um, you know, a whole generation, I guess, watching tonight, they'll be thinking, uh, Laurel and Hardy, just never seen it. You know, what, why are these classics not on our yeah. TV screens now, do you think? I was at school with someone here in Bristol who once said to me, why do you watch that stuff? It's in black and white. Like the idea that black and white itself was an appalling and disgusting thing. Uh, I've never understood that. 
Um, I just think it's not on TV because it's not as fashionable, it's not as vogueish as it was. Um, and But I think when people discover it, and as I say, when people come along and they see it in this event with the music, the whole thing, people are dazzled. It's, they, they think it's going to be like when you go to Shakespeare and you're supposed to laugh at the funny bits in Shakespeare, and it's not funny. I can guarantee you, these silent uh, and old movies, they are as funny as they were. When you see them in the right, uh, in the right um, frame of mind, they are as exciting as they ever were. Uh, and finally, I mean, it's great that you're back in Bristol. Uh, when you come back home, uh, everyone has something that they love about home. What do you love? What do I love? Uh, I like to hear the accent. Um, I've, <laughs> I've lived in Los Angeles. I've traveled all over the world. Uh, I, I, as you can hear, I still have the West Country accent. And uh, I sort of, I, I like coming back and being among my people and hearing it. And I like hearing, um, all right, me, uh, all right, me lover. And me old babber. Uh, I like saying, cheers, drive, ta-da. I like all that stuff. So that's the thing I enjoy the most. Well, listen, we enjoy having you on the programme, Not Stephen. that I take the bus. <laughs> no, I'm sure you don't. Chauffeur everywhere. Thank you. A man of your means. Uh, listen, thanks so much Wait. for talking to us on the programme. And uh, enjoy the festival. Stephen Merchant, what a legend. Oh, lovely man. Talking to legends. Yeah.